Centre halves are Alex Lacey and Ewan Murray. In front of him, or in front of them either, is Nicky Featherstone, the club captain. He's made over 300 appearances for. Nice little ball there in behind to Runei. He tries to pull it back, but the defender's there just to block it, and it's out for a corner. Again, a lovely little run in behind from, from Runei, and he was spotted nicely by Lewis Miller. Yeah, great pass, but I think first and foremost it comes from the run from Runei, a really unselfish run to get himself into that, that dangerous situation. And um, ah, it was a good chance, but now a corner to look forward to. It. Absolutely, and Ewan Henderson's over it again. Henderson swings it into the box. Miller's on the end of it. It's just a bit of a scramble in there. Henderson shoots, it's just wide. Good little opportunity that for Ewan Henderson. His cross into the box was obviously met by Lewis Miller. A little bit of a scramble in the area. The ball... Again, Miller down that right-hand side into Runa Hauga. Lovely passage of play there it's to Jake Doyle-Hayes. Into Henderson again, but his shot is straight at the goalkeeper. Things are really starting to tick now between the high beats. Tavares now on this left-hand side. Looking to take on Hasty. Goes down the left. Crosses it with his left foot. Tries to pull it back, but just can't quite find Eli Yuan. Or you and Henderson there. Really intelligent movement for there for Lewis Stevenson, just going out in the middle of the pitch just to free up that space to ball, get the ball straight to Jair's feet, and, and that's where you want on 1v1. Really good there from Jake Doyle Hayes. It opens up for you and Henderson. He scores! 1 0 to the High Bees. You and Henderson there with an excellent left footed effort into the bottom corner, but a lot of praise has to go to Jake Doyle Hayes. No, oh, exactly. That's it. One in the ball. And Shelton there, the number 10, looking to, to break through. But again, Rocky, good positional play. And there will be those elements, won't there, where we'll kind of lose the ball, trying to play those passes through the back. But it's about then reacting and, and getting in the right positional. Yeah, I think in these situations, it's about delaying the counter attack as much as possible and giving, giving their teammates a, a bit of time to, to retreat. Um, and Rocky done great there, as you said, protected the space behind them. And it, the ball went through um, harmlessly to, to David Marshall. It's a good learning experience for Carl McClelland as well. Obviously, like I mentioned earlier, just 20 years of age, only a handful of senior appearances with, with Falkirk, but again, someone who's got so much potential and working. Oh, Hartley Pooler in the box here down the right hand side. Again, fantastic, fantastic tackle from, from No Han Kenner, and the ball goes out for a Hartley Pool corner. That's brilliant, wasn't it? Absolutely brilliant. He's, he's shown that so many times in this first half already. What was he? Must have what, eight, nine, ten tackles in the, in the match so far. So he's, he's uh, it seems like he's relishing that side of the game and with the, the calmness and composure as well. I'm sure he'll be a, a real fan's favourite this season. And that's the beauty of, of his role. If the fullbacks push up like they did there, it's, it's his role, isn't it, to fill those defensive areas? Yeah, and it looks like he relishes it as well. He dies light up when, when these situations come about ball into the box, a little bit of a scramble, Rocky Bashiri does really well there to hold off his man and clear, Eli Yuan tries to break, Henderson back into Yuan, Eli Yuan running through on goal, 1-1 -on -one with the goalkeeper, oh it's a good save, really good save from the Hartlepool keeper, but an excellent burst of pace, movement and 1-2 there between Eli Yuan and Ewan Henderson. Elias Melkerson then driving into the box, man around him, he's tried to cut it across to find Joe Newell, but again, the defender's done well there positionally, and it goes out for a corner. Looks like Joe Newell's going over to take this one. Great reading from Cads here as well, read the, the goalkeeper's kick, stepped in, won the header and set, set Elias off into the box. Swings the corner in and it's a goal! Ryan Porteous there. Fantastic delivery from Joe Newell. And Porto's there to glance it into the back of the net. What a delivery that was from Joe, eh? Half a delivery and a good for Porteous as well.
like I mentioned earlier, this is a, a week-long training camp, so the Lee Johnson and his side will, will fly back to Edinburgh on Sunday. There is an open training session for fans. There are just about over 100 fans that have made it out here to come in and watch the team train and to have a little Q&A with, uh, with Lee Johnson after. And then, of course, the game on Friday against Burton Albion, 11 a.m. kickoff, and that will be streamed live on our YouTube channel as well. As Jack Bryden bursts forward here, tries to find Josh Doig. Pass slightly behind him, but gives us a chance to, to build and be patient. McGeady into Campbell. Campbell switches it wide to, to Chris Cadden. Tries to cross the ball into the box. Christian Deutsch is after it, but Ewan Murray just gets there in front of him and heads it over his own bar. See Deutsch's frustration a little bit there. That's uh, one of the moments where his eyes lights up, lights up with the wee hanging ball in the middle of the box and uh, just inches away for getting his head on that. It's good that, that Deutsch's had a... a or been able to, to start pre-season properly. Last year was obviously a little bit hit and miss for him. As Oh, it's just wide by Ryan Porteous. Again, another chance from a set piece. Aidan McGeady's right-footed cross came into the box. Porto met at the, fr at the front post. Just what you were saying earlier, Paul. It's about that vision, isn't it? Being able to see passes and crosses and through balls that, that even people in the stands or the Hibs fans that are watching on the far side probably can't see. That's, that's why he got to the level that he's, he's played at. Chris Cadden looking to cross the ball. But it's gone out for another Hibs corner. Joe Newell again going to take this one. Joe obviously been with us since he moved from Rotherham. Back in 2019, made over 100 appearances for the Hybies. Really relished that central midfield role. He's one that really came into the squad as well and just gets the club. He understands what. Newell's cross. Ah, oh, and it's a goal! Elias Melkerson scores, but it's offside. Newell's, cro Newell's corner was met by the head of Jack Bride, and it fell to the feet of Elias Melkerson who tapped the ball in from close range, but the offside flag was raised. Into Campbell. Josh Campbell trying to create some space for himself, but gives it back out to Joe Newell. Hibs will look really dangerous down this left-hand side, with McGeady and, and Doy linking up quite nicely. As Porter has really stepped on now as well, almost as a midfielder. After this game, the players will go and do a pool-based recovery session. I think Lee Johnson's got some uh, fun activities for them as Chris Cadden's down this right-hand side. Gives it to Elias Melkerson. It's just wide. Really nice link-up there from the two on the right-hand side as Melkerson's right-footed effort is just drilled wide. The next one, um, especially with the dodgy aerial ability there, it's a perfect knockdown for someone running on it. It's just unfortunate that Elias didn't need it. Absolutely. And there goes the full-time whistle. An excellent start to pre-season for Lee Johnson and his players. Not only did they run out 2-0 winners, thanks to goals from Ewan Henderson and Ryan Porteous, but they also showed elements of Lee Johnson's style of play. The pressing was really impressive and the playing through the lines to create opportunities. Thank you again to everyone that's tuned in and that's listened and watched today's stream. We'll be back for the game on Friday against Burton Albion, an 11 a.m. kickoff. Thank you again.